Hello, my name is Richard Dovston and I coordinate our new chemistry MSc programme here at the University of Leicester and I also act as the admissions tutor on the course. I'd like to take a few minutes now to tell you a bit more what, about what it's like to study as a postgraduate here at the University of Leicester and also give you some more details about our exciting new programme which um, kicks off this September. As a Leicester graduate my, myself, I can uh, firmly say that it's a really great university to come and study at. It's in the top 25 um, UK universities and we have a fantastic track record of helping our students move into exciting, rewarding, um, highly competitive uh, career paths. As a city, it has a great sporting and cultural uh, heritage and our campus is located on the edge of the city centre bordering Victoria Park, which gives all our students and staff access to some really nice green open spaces. Um, the student accommodation is located around the campus, but also out at the uh, Oadby Student Village, which is right on the edge of the city and borders the rather beautiful uh, Leicestershire countryside. The university puts great focus on the environment and sustainability, but above all, looking after our, our students. And, and central to that is, is a fantastic students union that puts in all the support network that students require. And that includes postgraduate students. So student union is not just relevant to, to undergraduate students. And of course, you'll have access to the facilities of the union. The building itself just undergone a, a really nice renovation and it's home to an O2 venue. Our school itself has a, has a really long uh, heritage um, with our first chemistry students graduating way back in 1927. And, and since then, it's, it's, it's grown and gone from strength to strength. And recently, we opened a satellite campus in, in China as part of the Dalian Leicester Institute partnership. And so we deliver our undergraduate degrees simultaneously, both in Leicester and in, in China. And really our teaching and what has led to the, uh, this level of teaching is, is world class uh, research that has inspired our, our curriculum. So our research groups give, give our undergraduate and postgraduate students access to cutting edge research facilities, but also expose them to, to really high impact cutting edge uh, research. Not only has it inspired the curriculum, but our research has had a, a really significant impact on, on, the, uh, on society, perhaps through the environment, healthcare, um, uh, for example. And, and this has happened through the spin out of, of companies and, and research institutes. And as I say, all of this has led to a really uh, fantastic, rich chemistry uh, curriculum, which has come together um, to uh, deliver the chemistry MSc programme. As a community, it's, it's a really um, uh, collegiate and um, friendly place to be. Our, our students uh, come from a diverse range of, of, of backgrounds and bring lots of fresh, fun ideas uh, to the School of Chemistry and have a great sense of community among themselves, but with all the other uh, staff. And there's a great group of PhD students and postdoctoral researchers who are undertaking uh, their research um, uh, projects in, in, our, in our labs. And behind all of this is a great team of academics. There's around 30 of us um, who deliver um, uh, the teaching to the school and also lead the, the research that's um, going on. And their contributions to both research and teaching have been widely recognised through um, and prizes. You can see a few examples uh, in front of you. Prizes um, for uh, teaching excellence, um, for contributions to research across the, um, across the spectrum of chemistry research that goes on from organic chemistry to atmospheric uh, chemistry to recycling um, uh, eggshells uh, to develop fillers for plastics. Uh, all of this has been um, uh, recognised and we even have um, Professor Monks who um, is a government advisor now. The chemistry MSc course itself will run for 12 months. It, it will start in, in mid-September and run right through to the following uh, September and, and you can apply for the course um, uh, now. Perhaps unusually compared to other, other programmes, um, the taught and research um, elements are both equally weighted, um, uh, but they also run um, side by side. They're fully integrated. So of the 180 study credits that make up an MSc here at the University of Leicester, 90 of those credits come from taught elements. That's a combination of theory and practical uh, modules and 90 credits come from your independent research project and the course really is going to be excellent preparation for, for students who want to move into uh, research chemist roles whether that be in, in industry across the chemistry sector from the pharmaceutical industry perhaps to the petrochemical industry uh, to the green energy industry or for those who want to go on and, um, and conduct further academic study through a PhD. 
The taught element of our course consists of um, uh, two uh, elements. There's a core element which consists of, of two modules. The first module is an advanced research and communication skills module. And this is designed to equip you with the skills you need in order to conduct a successful uh, research project. So this will involve um, performing literature searches, learning how to use databases effectively, but also um, how to present your, your findings through scientific writing, through presenting data on posters and giving oral presentations. So this will give you the, the toolbox of skills you need to be a successful researcher in the context of your MSc project. This module also has another important function and that's to help you um, prepare for your future career and to um, make sure that the skills you, you hone and gain throughout your MSc course are fully aligned with, with your aspirations. And in order to do that, we've worked closely with our excellent career development service to embed the Leicester Award and the Leicester Award Gold, which is an accreditation you can get from the university, um, which will give you access to, to lifelong um, careers support. So a focus on, on preparation and careers in, in this module. Alongside this, in some, so that will take place in semester one, and alongside it, there'll be a practical techniques and skills module, which will take place in our uh, teaching labs. So this is a structured module um, where you'll learn new skills, synthetic skills, physical chemistry skills, and analytical uh, chemistry skills. And if you look on our YouTube channel, you can take a virtual tour to, to find out more about the teaching lab facilities that we have within the School of Chemistry. So coupled with those two core modules, you will um, uh, choose three theory modules um, that will run throughout the year. So throughout semester one and semester two. And this is where you can really begin early on to shape um, your uh, the MSc around your, your interests and your, your needs. So um, even before you uh, arrive in Leicester in September, we will have helped you to choose three theory modules that will, will work for you. And you can choose from a, um, a selection of six. Uh, that are shown here. And all of our theory modules use uh, um, uh, really innovative teaching approaches, um, often problem-based, using problem-based learning approaches, interactive ap approaches that really speak to all kinds of different, uh, different learners. So there's something for everyone. And we make great use of small group teaching activities as well to really help consolidate uh, your understanding. And through our Ignite model of, of teaching, that's been, uh, all of that has been made possible even in a virtual uh, virtual setting. So the research product it itself is a considerable component of the course. It is, is half the course effectively 90 credits and, and, and therefore we put great emphasis on, on, uh, on this and getting it right at, at the start. So in semester one as part of that communication and skills module um, we will begin to think about what kind of project uh, you want to do, what research the thematic area you want to work in, and you'll have done some work um, to uh, look at the literature and do some study uh, in that area to prepare you for this. A bit later in semester one, you'll, you'll you choose your project supervisor, the project, the exact project you want to do. You'll meet with your supervisor and, and plan out that, that project. So as soon as semester two starts after Christmas, you'll be ready to go in the research labs and start your experimental work. So it's an independent research project and you'll be expected to make a novel contribution to, to research. So you really are at the cutting edge of everything that's going on in that particular research area. And to support you in that will be a, a research group that you're embedded into, which will consist of PhD students, um, postdoctoral researchers, and of course, um, key to that is your is your supervisor and so our research labs again um, uh, cover um, various thematic areas from chemical biology to biotechnology spectroscopy spectroscopy materials and interfaces and synthesis and catal catalysis there's also an option to conduct um, a project thinking about chemical education and how we be better uh, deliver teaching and learning in the chemistry setting if that's uh, of interest to you and many of these thematic areas are also linked to exciting research institutes such as the Leicester Institute of Structural Chemical Biology and the Space Park Program uh, here at Leicester. And uh, the contributions of project students to our projects are, are really a significant part of, of what we do and often result in, in 
them being included in, in scientific publications. So the, the research that you conduct, the data that you gather in your research projects is, is not um, just an academic exercise. It will feed into a live, um, important research project, which will hopefully uh, end in the results being disseminated through um, um, high impact publications. And, and to have your name uh, on a publication is a really great achievement to, to put on your CV and show that you're you have contributed to um, really novel research activity. The project you do, of course, is is, is going to be very closely linked to um, what you want to do following your, your MSc. So we'll think very carefully about that in, in, in semester one. And just to give you a flavour of what um, each research theme, what career area that might lead you to, um, I've tried to illustrate that on the, this slide. So if you were interested in, in uh, organic synthesis, um, uh, catalysis, perhaps um, new green ways to make different chemicals or green manufacturing. You might be interested in working in the synthesis and catalysis group, and that might lead to that will allow you to specialise your skill set um, uh, and um, put you on a path towards jobs in the fine chemicals industry, chemical manufacturer, developing sustainable and green uh, techniques, uh, for example. Our materials and interfaces uh, division have a, have a really, really strong track record of working with industry to develop green technologies from recycling uh, eggshells to developing um, new types of MDF material using recycled um, uh, potatoes, for example. Uh, they also have strong links with um, developing ways to re recycle um, batteries, which is becoming a really important um, aspect of, of research and development in the minute with the with the arrival of electric cars, for example. Our chemical biology group um, um, works very closely with the pharmaceutical uh, sector for AstraZeneca um, uh, and uh, LifeArc, for example. And the skills that you might develop uh, conducting a, a project in this area would, would um, uh, might um, lead you into jobs in the pharmaceutical uh, sector, into agrochemicals or, or perhaps life, the life sciences sector. And the chemical biology grouping is very closely linked to our biotechnology group here at Leicester that have their own uh, spin-out company called MIP Diagnostics. But again, skill sets uh, here um, could be uh, widely applied to, to any role in the, in the life sciences sector. And finally, our spectroscopy um, uh, grouping are very closely linked with the Space Park program here at Leicester, but also um, atmospheric chemistry and looking at the effects of global warming and pollution on our environment. Uh, and so um, industries and institutes looking into those um, kinds of things are really interested in students with skill sets um, that they've developed through research projects in this area. So um, the, the, the skills that you develop in this research project are really going to help you specialise in, in, in an area of your interest that's going to put you on the career path that you want to um, uh, go on. In order to help you do both your, your theory and your research, we've got a great support network in the School of Chemistry. Um, underpinning that is a personal tutoring system. So every um, MSc student will be assigned a personal tutor who will provide a, a first course of call if there's any problems, both in an academic and a pastoral sense. So any kind of problems, personal tutors are, are there ready to, to help you um, resolve those. I've already mentioned uh, career planning and the Leicester Award and Leicester Award Gold uh, um, that's built into the, the course and the career development service are there for, for everyone to um, use. Um, through the Accessibility Centre and our Accessibility uh, uh, Tutor, um, we can support st students, whatever their, their needs might be. And the department is a very collegiate environment. So there's an open door policy and academics um, uh, are always there uh, to uh, ensure our uh, students are, are well supported. We always provide printed notes for our theory modules, which um, is a great help to, uh, to many students. Um, we provide access to um, all the uh, equipment that you need to conduct your, your lab uh, studies. And of course, you get access to the necessary software and our fantastic library services uh, as well. So in terms of the uh, entry requirements, so you, uh, in order to um, do the MSc course, you need a BSc in, in chemistry or a very closely uh, related subject. And you need to have achieved a 2-2 or above. Um, if you are an international uh, student and English is not your first language, then you also need uh, an English language uh, proficiency, proficiency qualification. 
So the fees are, are listed uh, here, pretty standard for a UK MSC um, course. If you're a Leicester alumni, you, you um, are qualify for a 20% reduction on the UK uh, EU uh, uh, fee. And postgraduate loans are available through the, the student's loan company if you haven't already explored your options for financing. If you have any questions about the, the course, then please do uh, drop uh, an email to either of uh, these email addresses shown at the bottom uh, uh, here. And do explore our YouTube uh, video content and look at the virtual tours and some of the research videos that give you much greater insight into what goes on um, here at the School of Chemistry. And I really hope to uh, speak to some of you at the Open Day events that, that come up over the next few months.